Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to teach you how you can easily use marketing automation for your Freshworks account, Freshworks CRM account. So when you would come here to the Freshworks, you come here to marketing automation, first thing you're going to see segments. So in segments, you can simply create a segment and I'm going to, let's say, name it new customer, create. Then you're going to have like conditions here for your segments. And then based on the segment, you have contacts. So uh, first, let's say that I'm going to create a segment contact field. Uh, first name, last mobile, you just choose it. And I'm going to be the first name. Then is so in in contact fields, there is a first name, which is Marcus. I will see my every, every single person who is Marcus in contact save segment voila here we got it pretty simple pretty easy and now we have the first segment now you can do it also with journey customer lists so if the in a contact field uh, the life cycle stage is lead you would see it in contact so this is pretty much how it works then after segments you're gonna see journey and again, you can choose it from template or create a journey. When I'm going to choose it from template, uh, welcome email or blog subscription, you can really choose which journey you want. So end of our anniversary email, I can simply click on it. Use template. Clone. And here we go. So when there is going to be a contact list, then add a delay by contact that field and send an email. Now on the right side, you would see that you can simply add more things here, like triggers. When something happens, then we will have action, send email, add to list, update contact field, remove from a list, enter notification. Then you're going to see conditions here. If something, if there is a segment, then send an email, for example. And then you have controls here. Add a time delay and split traffic. Really easy, really simple. So, yeah. This is pretty much it, how it works. So, I'm going to choose a contact list, if I would have one. Then wait for a contact date. So, when they are, it's a birthday. And then I'm going to choose an email. So this is pretty much it, how it, can, how it works. And this is how journey works. You can again create your own journey or you can choose it from template. My recommendation is definitely find some good templates that you can simply use. So you don't have to create your own ones. But if you want to, you can create your own. Then further, we're going to have journey emails here. Create a new journey email. This is going to be my email. And select subscription type or newsletter promotional sender name is going to be Marcus and reply to this is would be another email that you can add here subject you can personalize preheader again you can personalize it too then you can have like style here and you can choose uh, the templates here like the layout and also the themes Let's say uh, this one, use template. And then we have the design here. So you can simply design for your journey email, how it looks like the text, image, button, divider, social, HTML, video icons, GIF, sticker. You can do it also for the rows. So I can simply come here and add an image and add it. And when I have it and when I have everything, I can simply go to review and edit it and ready to send so this is how would i have my journey email that i can send to people then you have chatbots and again our chatbots you can create those if you want to but I really won't get into it. If you want to, I will create a tutorial on it too, because chatbots are a little bit difficult. Then you can have like email campaigns. In email campaigns, again, you can simply create email campaign, summer, 
sale promotion create and what do i mean guys when you create a journey email here you can use it for journey templates and for journeys so when i have journey emails and the last step is going to send email i can send a journey email that i'm going to create based on a template in the email campaign is a campaign really similar to also that i can uh, use to if i want to as a summer collection etc so that's what you can do i add here my sender name i can uh, choose the recipients the subject the preheader preheader change the style change the design and review then you're going to see also transactional emails you can create those two email create and this is like transactional emails outside based on user requests or action on your website or app so when something going to happen on an app uh, you're going to send the email common use cases include account creation emails passwords these emails are typically sent through email so this is how you can do and it's really similar comparing to the others so i'm going to add a michael here and i can go here to style and change the style see the templates here transactional and just choose those then you're going to see also chat campaigns here and you can create trigger message so convert prospects and leads into signups and customers send messages that drive people towards specific goals and that's pretty much it so you can click here new campaign and then uh, you're gonna see also offline events you can create event group here and this is pretty much it how you can do so this is like the quick overview how you can use uh, marketing automations in freshworks it's pretty easy it's not really that difficult guys so yeah if you're gonna have any questions i'll be really happy to help you and provide you some guidance and support and yeah uh, this was like the quick journey i would have to make like 40 minute tutorial on how to use the marketing automation and my recommendation <clears throat> is just use uh just use the templates here and you're gonna be get to go so have a great day guys and goodbye see ya